The Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Alison Madweke, has appeared before the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee investigating the management of funds spent on fuel subsidy. Now, one of the areas being probed is the issue of 1.3 trillion naira spent on subsidy last year, out of which the minister allocated a major part to subsidizing kerosene. The second day of the ad hoc committee investigation into the removal of fuel subsidy by the federal government following the emergency seating of the House of Representatives on January the 11th. The Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Alison Mandrake, began by giving an overview of the impact of subsidy. I think a situation whereby a substantial amount of the national budget is expended annually on subsidy. She also gave an account of consumption rates that led to the increase of subsidies to 1.3 trillion naira between 2006 and 2011. Because in recent times we have seen national demand rise uh, to an average of 35 million liters daily, sometimes more. Um, the growth is supported, and these are the reasons, by a corresponding increase in PEF payments resulting from increased bridging. In addition, crude prices have been rising, and these have a direct impact on international product pricing. The lawmakers sought to know issues concerning approval of an extra 245 billion naira for subsidy in the 2011 budget, as well as other indices. Let me just say that the 245 billion was put in the budget for a period of two months. It was calculated for a period of two months. And that was because at the time, it was calculated on the basis that deregulation was expected to have taken off uh, thereafter. Uh, of course, that did not happen. Now, it is Ministry of Finance that authorizes the payments uh, that are made on subsidies, not the Ministry of Petroleum. The hearing continues for a third day on Wednesday, January the 18th, while the Minister of Finance, Dr. Ngozi Okunjoiwala, is expected to appear on Thursday, January the 19th.